Hey everybody, this is Metro Sadiq. Yeah, I'm back. It's been about, maybe about a week or two, but I wasn't filming myself last week. Somehow, when I was at work, uh, my allergies were bothering me and such. And then when I got off two hours later, it got really bad. It was like a uh, 100 body temperature, 100.4. And then I managed to take some stronger colon severe medicine and then dropped to 98.0. And then the next day, I felt worse with red eyes and I couldn't breathe. So I had to go to the emergency room. So it turns out that I had allergic rhinitis, unable to breathe. So it been causing my head and head and more like a uh, rhinoceros disease or whatever, but who knows. But I'm glad to be feeling a whole lot better. Oh yeah, I'm glad to, yeah. Now I can get back on making more videos, so I just don't know what other videos I'll be making soon. And my birthday's coming up very soon on March 26, which I'll be uh, 29 years old, yeah. So I'll probably make a, a, a new project called, well I know last year I made like um, Metro Sonic's 28th birthday adventure, so I might get into that, yeah. Oh yeah, it feels great to feel, I feel so much better, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, tonight, um, March 13, um, it's supposed to be an all new episode of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Anger into Power, Vegeta vs. Frost, yeah. But it's been delayed till the 20th due to a Fidel uh, Sun parade in Japan. Yeah, I was so excited to see the episode for Vegeta uh, beat the tar out of Frost. Because Frost, he is, uh, he is evil. He turned out to be a villain from Universe... Six, I believe, because our universe is Universe 7. Frost is based off from Frieza, supposed to be a Emperor of Good, but it turns out that uh, in the Universal uh, Universe, Frost cheated with something, some kind of deadly needle uh, in his final form that caused Goku and Vegeta, uh, I mean Goku and, and Piccolo to lose. But he was disqualified, so Vegeta asked Piccolo to step down, and Vegeta wanted to take down Frost personally. Yeah. So, it looks very epic. Very epic. But I will, <clears throat> I will provide the link down the description below to see um, the preview. Uh, yeah. And now I heard that Spider-Man is in the new Captain America Silver War. And this new Spider-Man is um, Tom Holland, who's like 19 years old. And the new Spider-Man suit is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And the eyes move. It kind of reminds me of... Let's see, the Spider-Man, uh, maybe about the Spider-Man back in the 1960s, yeah, when the eyes move or, or something like that, yeah. Like, yeah, it looked awesome. I mean, Captain America, Iron Man, all the other Marvel characters going at it. <laughs> at this, some kind of Civil War, so it's basically with uh, Cap and Iron Man, you know, <laughs> fighting over uh, something. But I'm sure that you remember my previous um, video in my uh, reaction when I was watching the trailer. So, yeah. But I'll also provide that below in the description. Yeah. 
And now, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. And I also heard that um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of the 2012 series will cross over with one special episode with the Turtles of the 1987, the Turtles that we know, that we uh, enjoy back when we were kids or older. Yeah. And the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will have their original voice cast from back in the classic series. Yeah. So, um, those classic turtles will get into the greedy dimension world, similar to the turtles of this year. So, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> so, I'll also provide the, uh, the link below also. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Pretty much about it. So, yeah, the, the trailer of, let's see, Captain America Civil War will be provided. And, um, the preview of the next episode, Dragon Ball Super, episode 35, will be provided. And, um... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, uh, the crossover between 2012 and 1987 will be provided. And speaking of turtles, should I also mention that, um, the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming out very soon? I think it was in, in June, yeah. But what is up with them wearing pants, but newsflash that Rocksteady and Bebop and Casey Jones will appear in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, uh, Out of the Shadows, yeah. So, it looked pretty epic, too. Yeah, pretty epic. <laughs> yep. So, um, yep. I'm so glad to be feeling a whole lot better. I mean, uh... Filling down from the uh, allergic rhinoceros was no good. Can't even breathe or anything. But at least I did went and see a doctor and provide me these medicine plus the nasal spray that helped me breathe a whole lot better. So I'm grateful that I'm still alive. Yep. And continue on with training. Yep. So, um, tell me what you guys think. Please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.